Harmonic resynthesis is a technique for reshaping and manipulating the sound in a very intuitive way. Here we have a simple piano instrument named Drunk Piano, and after playing a few notes it's easy to understand why. Let's open the editor for this sample and let's check the pitch in this way. This is the pitch analysis, you can see how it goes up and down. And then we can fix it by flattening the envelope in this way, by drawing a line while holding down the option key modifier. Now let me add a change here. But I actually want to go back and have some of, of the original vibrato again, so I'll use the reset tool. And I'm reducing the vibrato here and enhancing it here. As you can see, it's all quite intuitive to use. And using the smear tool, I can also organically edit the envelope in this way. And of course, I can draw directly any envelope. But in this case, I just want to fix the pitch. So this is harmonic resynthesis for pitch. This is not uh, pitch shifting. We are using the original sample as a model for building a new sound. Pitch editing is great, but sometimes it would be useful to reshape the timing of our samples. In this case, I would like to experiment with the faster hammer action. And the good news is that we can edit the time envelope around the attack to accelerate it. Or to slow it down. And just to show you how it works in a better way, I'm now drawing this envelope and let's play this sample. And let's try another time envelope. And this is harmonic resynthesis for time. Next, sometimes we'd like to change the structure of the sound and get a different one. So let's change the format and transform this piano sound into an harpsichord or into a big old dark piano sound. This is a very creative function, as we can also continuously reshape the format in this way. Ok, now we fixed our pitch problem, but I'd like the sample not to decay to silence. This is the amplitude analysis. And I can draw the desired level directly. I'm now freezing the decay by drawing a straight line. And of course we will have some background noise at the end as we are constantly changing the volume. We have seen how to manually edit the resynthesis for a single sample, but actually you can directly set the most common resynthesis parameters from the zone inspector for multiple zones at once, so it's very easy to use. Let's see another application of harmonic resynthesis, which is polyphonation. Sometimes we have just a single sample and we'd like to have some kind of playable instrument out of that. Normally we take the sample, create an instrument and use the traditional sample resampling. Let's try this in KeyMap and see what happens. I'm dragging the sample to the matrix, it's a nice flute sample. The sample is not yet mapped correctly, so we use pitch detection. And here's our instrument. Now, let me play one octave. Notice how the high note ends much earlier than the uh, low note. This is a common problem in samplers as they use traditional resampling. 
In Kima Pro, we can solve this problem by using harmonic resynthesis and the polyphonate function to build one octave down and one octave up of resynthesized material. So let's use it with our sample here and let's play the octave again. Now, as you can hear, the samples play perfectly in sync. And so we can now save the instrument as we just solved our problem.